work. Got to do something. That's right. Local pastor feels he was discriminated against when he was asked to leave an eerie restaurant, but the owner says he was just enforcing his own dress code. So we tried to get to the bottom of this today. We talked with both sides, learning what happened and what each would like to see happen next. After finishing his Sunday service, Pastor Lamont Higginbottom changed into casual clothes and took his wife to Andy's Ale House and Grill, planning to enjoy some wings for lunch. We walked through the door and the owner was there to greet us and uh, inform us that we were not welcomed uh, because of our apparel. Higginbottom was wearing a hoodie, sweats, and boots, but a sign at the restaurant prohibits sweats as well as other items like work boots. Higginbottom agrees he didn't meet the dress code, but says he felt humiliated. It's embarrassing, uh, especially when we know that we are um, well respected in this city and the hard work that we um, do. We talked with the owner here at Andy's. He declined to go on camera for an interview, but he says he's been in business 40 years. He says he's had a dress code the whole time, and he says he intends to keep it going forward. Higginbottom says his problem isn't with a dress code. He'd just like to talk about some particular items on this one. He has every right to um, to uphold his dress code. Uh, I don't. I'm not pushing against that. I just think that when you read the list of things that's on the dress code, it is tailored to keep a certain demographic of people out of his restaurant. Higginbottom says what he'd like most is a conversation. He understands having a dress code, but he says prohibiting clothing commonly worn by people of color can make them feel excluded. We can both look at uh, his uh, dress code um, with new eyes and, and, and a new lens so that we can better understand uh, each other. Again, we'll wait and see if that conversation happens. Uh, kind of a tricky story. You can understand having a dress code, and Higginbottom says, look, I didn't meet the dress code, but you can also understand where the pastor's coming from as well. So just uh, another crazy day in the city of Erie. Wow. All right. Well, uh, maybe we'll have a follow-up, like Indeed. you said. Indeed. We'll wait yeah. and see what happens. Now.